Greetings, all divine souls. I greet in the name of our Father, Mother, God, plus all the divine light being kingdom. Uh, I ask you kindly, as usual, if the words that I'm going that you're going to listen to don't resonate with your heart, I ask you kindly to discard them or use them to jumpstart the truth that is within your being. Uh, the letter for now is from the Actuarian Group. It goes like this. Welcome, uh, dear readers. We observe that many of you are discouraged and tired of waiting for signs of change and new earth energy. The changes you hope the changes you hope and wait for cannot happen quickly because earth is earth is ascension is a process. Because of thousands and more years in which Earth's dominant consciousness was that of the of, of separation and two powers, the collective continues to express outwardly as form of violence, power over disease, lack, and hundreds of other ways that represent separation from God and other life form, other life forms, even as it gradually becomes more enlightened. Separation beliefs remain uh, ingrained in the collective and affect everyone born into Earth's three dimension energy. Even the very evolved who are on Earth to assist with Earth's ascension process are, are experiencing the effect of living uh, in a world where the dominant energy is that of duality, separation, and two powers. The presence of increasingly more light is exposing many dense energy of separation and as they surface, those in alignment with them often feel a sense of, of permission and empowerment to act on them, thus the increase in violence in the world. As a result of the high resonating energies now pouring to earth as well as it being carried in a in awakened state, working states of a consciousness, shadow energies are dissolving. However, because Earth is a planet of time and space, and also because material bodies uh, could could not withdraw, could not withdraw intense. I mean, could not pardon could not withstand intense situations of high resonating energy. Its ascension, its ascension out of 3D, 3 uh, dimension energy must be a progress. Remember, you are in the midst of a divine plan, and divine plans cannot be uh, swelled or stopped by human thinking because the idea of divine idea, the, the, I mean, the ideas of divine mind are held uh, for forever in place by divine law. If disease, lack, limitation, etc., actually exists in divine consciousness as reality, they, they could never be healed or changed because divine law, divine law would be permanently sustaining and maintaining them. It is a time, it is a time of suffering for many, and you, dear light workers, are helping uh to soften it through the light of your awareness. You need do nothing because the light you hold in consciousness automatically uh, lifts and awakens those ready and able to align with it. As humans, you have, you have become accustomed to solving all situations uh, through thinking and outer activities that are often necessary. However, you have involved to, to levels in which your first step is to go within in the realization that that consciousness is the real is the real and only power, not human thought. The world sees the world sees appearances and judges and judges them uh, through filters of good and evil, um, old and young, male and female, lack and abundance sickness and health beliefs of duality that uh, remain well established in the three dimension three dimension system spiritual masters over the centuries have tried to explain this as being erosion but most 
most thought this meant that everything on earth was erosion erosion and therefore conditions of pain and suffering did not really matter but could be ignored what these what these masters were trying to tell them was that was that the earth her people and all life forms are very real spiritually real but but that the way they are being seen the way they are being seen and believes about them constitutes a state of uh, erosion as manifestation of creative uh, divine consciousness you also you are also creators just as source consciousness continues to express itself individuals like likewise express their consciousness which is the one consciousness individualized but conditioned with false beliefs this is not a judgment it is simply a fact in reality there are no vic there are no victims only those who as of yet do not know that they are creating their situations from the contents of their consciousness because there is no unexpressed consciousness god always has is and will continue forever to express itself as infinite form and variety these forms are spiritual but in lower resonating energy uh, appear as material example physical eyes are only able to see a tree uh, materially as wood useful for man conception but in reality the expression uh, of a tree in divine mind is a beautiful form of high resonating light connecting to every other tree and all and all of and all of like uh residency yes you can talk to a tree because all life is one and only and only life the essence of every form is a divine idea something can something cannot be made out of nothing observe the bl the blades of glass do you see any lack the harmony and the intelligence of divine consciousness manifests as uh as roses as roses always coming from from a rose bush from rose bushes and orange always coming from orange trees what causes a seed to open when it is when it is pressed in the right element what element am i choosing to live in harmony completeness abundance intelligence love it is see a reality because they are qualities of the only reality an omnipresent omnipotent omniscient a conscious inf infinitely expressing itself most as most most as of yet do not comprehend this because they are still creating from states of consciousness emerged in duality separation and beliefs in two powers many are hurting uh financially at this time while others lack proper housing and food abundance is a quality of divine consciousness and therefore exists permanently permanently as a divine law remember this with with every appearance of lack or limitation example realize that they there realize that in reality no one is or can be separate from their perfect home which is always has and and been always will be divine consciousness everyone is an expression of god individualized therefore lack and limitation can only be a manifestation of the separation belief that dominates collective and personal consciousness you and awakened ones uh on earth you the awakened ones on earth to acknowledge the higher truth about everything in the world and by doing so uh by doing so help create a new and higher collective consciousness if you are personally facing some form of lack and limitation step back and ponder the truth you know about abundance take truth not the problem into meditation in order to attain deeper awareness of your belief about abundance realizing that you were a god individualized thus complete self-sustained and and maintained
God knows nothing about lack and limitation. If lack was a part of divine consciousness, it would be permanent. It would be a permanent reality. Individuals create situations of lack through their consciousness of lack and limitations. Money is energy, and as such, can and does flow when, when and where needed, and often least expected. Supply is infinite. Uh, supply is infinite spiritual co completeness interrupted in three, interpleted in three, uh, pardon, interpleted in three dimension energy as material and limited. In order to attain a consciousness of abundance, you must cease looking for persons, joy, job, uh, inheritance, husband or wife or anything outside of self for it and starting looking where it actually exists, which is within you. Yes, your good will probably come through through one or more of these outer sources, but 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 is never from them because humans do not have the abundance to give. Abundance is the divine quality. Acknowledging that you are a divine abundance, divinely abundant because you are one with source does not mean you sit back doing nothing while shouting to others that God is God is in all rather it means that that if oh when 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 experiences of lack and limitation arise you first acknowledge the truth about the abundance and then allow your intuition to guide your steps which may appear to be ordinary and three dimensionary until a truth until a truth becomes attained state of consciousness it cannot fully manifest outward it is not a spiritual failure to take advantage of available assistance if needed uh, bec because help is offered at all levels of consciousness just remember that it is a step stone it is a stepping stone and not a permanent uh residency be alert to make metal traps of i don't i don't have poor me i always fail nothing ever works for me it wouldn't work etc etc which only serve to hold you into that energy remember consciousness is a substance of form up to a certain point in your in spiritual journey the human mind are conditioned with three-dimensional beliefs will constantly step up with warnings about why that why that which you may be guided to do will or can only fail the human mind tries to protect help but draws its information from the collective and past experiences the time comes in every everyone's evolution when on occasion, they must tell their human thinking mind to go sit in the corner while they do what they need to do. Experiences of lack and limitations are frightening. Do not resist them, but rather allow them to throw, to throw, throw, throw through and out in the realization that they they have only whatever they 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 have only whatever power you have given them seriously consider opportunities um, that may present to you even if they are not what you are imagining hoping for or hoping for situations that seem to just appear in your experience are often doorways leading to something new or and better always trust your intuition continue holding to outgrow three-dimension concepts uh, about anything simply because they are uh, familiar or aligned with beliefs of family and friends similar uh, simply serves to hold you in that energy make your first action at all time and in every situation uh, that of acknowledging the spirit the spiritual reality and lying every appearance we are the actorian group namaste